I wanted to confirm if the transistor is working properly, so I checked its output voltage. However, it showed around 10 volts, which is impossible for a transistor to output such a high voltage. Therefore, I need to replace it now to ensure the meter functions correctly. You can remove this SMD transistor without a hot gun. Avoid using a hot gun if you can remove it safely with just a soldering iron. Now, it's time to replace the transistor. This is a 9013 transistor, and its SMD code is 1AM. If you can't find an SMD version, you can use a standard transistor, but make sure to check the pinouts carefully to ensure proper connection. Now, let's see what happens when the engine is on. When the engine starts, the speedometer sends a signal to this pin, causing the meter details to change like this. You can observe that it functions correctly when I manually provide a signal to the base pin of the transistor. However, our issue is still not resolved. So, I downloaded the EEPROM datasheet to check its pinouts, as I suspect the problem might be with the memory. Here's the datasheet. You can see that pin 7 is connected to the switch, which is designed to protect the data. Looking at the circuit, there's a capacitor connected to this pin. To troubleshoot further, I decided to short the capacitor to reset the EEPROM. Now you can see that the distance meter is functioning properly and no longer behaving like a demo. The issue is nearly resolved. We can confirm this by reinstalling the meter into the car. Carefully reinstall all parts of the car's speedometer, paying special